Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, let's go talk to Uncle and Charles, and we'll go from there, I guess. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. You're not wrong. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Oh. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <clears throat> All right, well, there's the house, Dan. Let's uh, head into town and go buy a house. Come on, then. Buy a house out of a catalog, I guess. Yeah, that, uh, that wooden shack, which was, well, yeah, needed more than a woman's touch. It's now down. We can go. Go and uh, get something new and fresh. Did need pulling down and rebuilding, to be fair. We need a better house than that. We are at Blackwater. It looks like it's here. Should have more than enough money. We got uh, four thousand. Sorry, four hundred and fifty-five. Excuse me, sir. You oh, work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? 
Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique, pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skin is going to be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. All right, I'm following you, Charles. You know the quickest way. We've got quite a lot of lumber right now. Like, even in today's market, this is probably a good couple of... Say, is thousand pounds worth of lumber. Or a red skin? I think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. Yeah, you it is. got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. <laughs> People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? All right. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, I'm putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Let's go get me some tools. 
You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. I don't know where his gun is. It's just a, this little pistol there on his hip. Like I think we've got I a said, shotgun Nils and a is a rifle on our back. An acquired taste. Let me do the talking. All right. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. I like to say okay a lot. Guess we got so tools. Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. He likes to say okay a lot, don't he? I remember that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must We've got some help as well. I couldn't. World needs me. Oh! Oh! Everyone find some cover! I'm born arrows. You okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Got Mr. Here. Devin. Mr. Devin. Thank God. We lost our hat. Hey, I see Mr. Smith. Got the move. Help, help me. Help. Get out of the way, Charles. You mean they threw us in? Stay with them. We gotta get the way. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the one. Charles over here. Where are they coming from? I'm not done. Uh, no. 
Shotgun out. Charles, I found the tools. Guy there behind us. Where's Mr. F no. Shit. All right. He had kids Jesus. too, and a wife. Seemed really nice. Gotta move fast. Come on. Get the hell out of here. Back to the road. I'm guessing him looking all intimidating wasn't intimidating enough, I guess. God damn it. Especially to multiple Two people. Ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh-huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! All right. Let's see if we can grab me hot too. Out of here. Oh my lord! What they do to him? Nothing nice. That'll lose me hot at. Yeah. Come on, we gotta go. You got the hat. Those goddamn animals. Okay, John, I'm riding with you. All right, let's go. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. Not that far away from my Kinda place either. This is right, right here. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed. It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. I just had that guy behind us in. Poor oh, Mrs. Weird. Damn. Hopefully, Uncle's still here, alright. I'm to the teeth. Uncle! Oh, he passed out drunk. Yeah, Uncle! passed out. You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Yeah. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that.
morning. All right, there we go. So, I guess the only other main mission we can really do right now is one here with Uncle. Or do we head back into town and go do a bounty hunt? Looks like according to that, it's only $90. Eh, $90 is better than nothing. You know what? Screw it. We'll go get the $90 bounty. We'll go do that. Then we'll continue here. Um, We'll come back here. We'll break it up a little bit. Doing a bit of backwards and forwards, but that's alright. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series and everything so far. We're, uh, but we are plodding towards the end of the game. Um, technically, the main game's over. This is like the epilogue. But um, I'm still really enjoying playing, so keep going for a little while longer. Not sure how much longer we've got to go, so... Can't remember how much. Can't remember it really lasting that long. Um, I think it was something like uh, like ten episodes or something like that uh, on the original. I think it was something like that on my original playthrough. If you guys have missed the original playthrough, it's linked in the description. It's not as good quality as this. It's not in 4K or anything, but uh, like it is here. But it's uh, it's there if you guys want to go. Have a look at the subtle differences between back then and now. It's, uh, it's a few years later. So our horses, uh, bars are just worn off. Also, we've heard nothing from City in a while. Yeah, let's, let's go make a little bit more money. $90 worth, I think. Good horse. How you do? Chase! I hope you're looking for another bounty, cause we're after that outlaw on the wall there. Right, let's have a look. Uh, thirty dollar reward. I thought it said ninety on the uh, thing, but no, it's a it's a thirty dollar reward for this guy. Now uh, for a rest. All right, let's uh, let's go see if we can get him. Find some information about him. Fellas been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. Oh, yeah. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. <laughs> Zeisendorf, is it? That's how he says it. I thought he was a nice feller, respectable. The Germans usually are, but not this one. You know the man? I do. Got him selling stolen tools, and I was persuaded he'd been had. We're sure we've got our man now, though, and we're sure he'll strike again. Okay, I'm glad. Cause I ain't never sure of anything. I'll see what I can do then. I should like that one to be sensible when they're returned. Don't snuff them. No, okay. We'll try not to. Give him hell. Oh, trust me, I will give him hell. Alright, let's go get him. It's only a $30 bounty, but... Uh, is it probably worth our time? Uh, probably not. Where the hell is he? Where is he? Be a good girl now. It hasn't actually popped him on the uh, on the map. Like, am I missing something? I don't see him anywhere. We did pick it up, didn't we? Because I, I generally don't see him on the map. We 100% picked it up. But it doesn't actually tell me where he is. 
I was hoping to do the bounty, but I don't see him. Um. Yeah, how you make it? I went for a rest. Uh, yeah, don't actually. Doesn't actually tell me on the one post where he is. So I have no idea where he is. Right, I guess we, we head back out and head up to Uncle. If he pops on the map, we'll, uh, we'll go and go get him. But I have no idea where he is. I don't know if it's a, like a time of night type of thing. But we have to wait until nightfall. Might actually be that. Because he said that he was around at night. Around the construction yard, which is right here. I think I did this bounty originally. Can I, like, sit and wait? I think what we'll do is we'll head out of town a little bit. We'll wait until night and we'll come back. I think that's going to be one of the things we have to do. We have to sort of head out and then come back at night. Nowhere there where I could have went and waited either. Let's uh, pop up a little pop up camp, and then we'll um, we'll wait until night, and then we'll uh, we'll head back in see if we can get them. Sleep till um, evening or night. We we'll go to night. It's twelve hours. Hopefully, all them pop. This is what I'm hoping for anyway. If not, I just wasted time. Yeah, he's there now on the map, look. There we go. I had to use a little bit of a thought. What the guy said. Sometimes they give you a pretty big hint uh, in the dialogue. There he is. Head in, let's go get him. you guys can actually see I can see perfectly it's just you guys I'm worried about hopefully it's not too dark if it is I'll try and lighten up maybe if I remember Framed, mate. You're in the middle of a construction site at night. Who the hell's framed you? Take 
take a bullet for a petty crime? Stop! There is no crime! Missed him. You don't have anything on me! Yes. Bastardo! Oh, Lord. There we go, yeah. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. Oh, you really don't need to do that. Uh, yeah, I do. Y you keep on running for me. Let's loot him. Mind if I check your pockets? Mm, be gentle. Uh, oh. Right, I think we can this more or less just station. You might need walk rest. him there. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Don't worry, I'll tell the police officers that you got um, framed. Don't you worry. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent Will do. until proven. Quiet. There, there. Settle in. Caught you in the, the goddamn act, mate. Come on now. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like Thank this. Thank you. A crime is a crime, and I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony, but this won't hold up in court. Yeah, yeah, have fun. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Herman, will you quiet yourself? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's um let's head back to camp. Let's see if we can sleep away the um oh, we're not heading back to camp, we're heading back to uh we just hope our ranch and we'll try and uh try and sleep until morning. Really then we'll go cool. do the mission with the uncle. Continue with the main mission, hopefully. Um, I don't think that we're gonna have much. Uh, well, hopefully, we can sleep. I'm hoping we can. Probably might not be able to, though. Just because it's been that close since we last slept. I'm hoping that we can. We did sleep for 12 hours. I tried to wait and stuff like that, but I couldn't wait. Sometimes when you wait, you can skip time that way, but I don't think I could. If not, I think we might be able to wait back at camp. I like our horse's stamina now, though. We can actually get somewhere with it. I don't think the horse has the best stamina, but I really do miss um, Arthur's horse. You know what? Next week, what we might do is we might end up... Um, might end up going getting ourselves a horse. Not let me hitch. It's all right. We'll try and sleep. Sometimes you gotta be incredibly precise where the thing is. Come on, there we go. Uh, sleep till morning. It's four hours away.